Good morning, prayer warriors. Wake up. War time. War time. Thank you, Father God. War time. War time. Good morning. I miss y'all. Yesterday was a long time ago. I miss y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hey, 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 hey. I missed y'all. Thank you, Lord. Share the video. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> Share the video. Facebook is telling me. Good morning, Hannah, Leslie, Crystal. Some of the names don't show right away. Good morning, Donna. It's roll call. Good morning. Good morning. Is it Shade or Sade? Good morning. Hi, Lana. Roll call. <laughs> hey. Good morning, Lakeisha. Y'all share the video, please. Good morning, Jermaine. It's roll call, 5.56 a.m. Central Standard Time. Good morning, Victor. Bless you. Bless you, Rhonda. I love you. I love you all. Good morning, Tashima. Good morning. Good morning. Let's share the video, bottom left-hand corner. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Minister Deanna. Good morning. Good morning, Sharonda. Good morning, Shana. It's good to see y'all this morning. Thank you. Leslie, time is ticking for that baby. Thank you, Lord. How's everybody doing? Y'all had a blessed week. We made it all the way to Friday. Good morning, Felicia. I'm ready, too. Good morning. I'm ready. I'm ready. Good morning, Dorita. Angela, good morning. Timothy, good morning. Yes, good morning, my brother in Christ. Good morning to Sheena. Okay, y'all. Hit that share button for me. Good morning, Sharon. Bless you. Who's in early? Good morning, Pamela. All right, we got three minutes from Fort Worth, Texas. Good morning, Vincent. Good morning, Gwendolyn. Tell me where you're from. Everybody post that where you're from. We're trying to see where everybody's from. Good morning. Thank you, Miss Cynthia, for sharing this video and all the rest of you who just shared it. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Priscilla. Bless you. Good morning. Bless you. Bless you, Stephanie. Okay, uh, Rose. No, you're not going to catch the flu. We cover you in the blood of Jesus. Don't even think about it. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Natasha. Brittany trying to sneak over here and read my comments. What you trying to read? Good morning. You can come read them. She can come read the comments, can't she, y'all? She's not going to be able to keep up with them. Good morning, good morning. Did the Tamila or Tim? Okay, now she can see. Good morning, good morning, D. Charlotte! Charlotte! Charlotte been with me from the beginning. <laughs> I love you, Charlotte. Down there towards d Low. Bless you. Bless you, Kimberly from Memphis. Bless you, Cindy. Okay, y'all, I'm getting excited now. Bless you, Stacy. Thank you. She said, heaven smile upon me. Thank you. Monique, bless you from Maryland. Ooh, I know you're cold up there. Bless you, Annie. Yay, Annie finally got to listen live. Thank you. It is exciting to do it live. I get a kick out of going back and watching through and reading all the comments, though. Thank you, Angel. Bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Sharnice. Bless you. Bless you. Lynette, bless you. All right, two minutes. Two minutes. Two more minutes. Hey, Raven. Bless you, Angela. Raven. Raven been with me for a long time, too. I love you, Raven. Where, where's the favor? Bless you, Jay Lewis. They say good morning, Brittany. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sugar mama. I call my little two-year-old baby girl sugar mama. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you, Connie. Oh, wow, in South Carolina. I love you, too. Thank you. You guys are so amazing for sharing this because you're helping this go further, faster, and I really appreciate that. And God does too. I got some exciting things to tell y'all in a minute. Bless you, Janice, Michelle from San Antonio, Kaylin. Um, Detroit, Rochelle, my family's in Detroit. Bless you. I know it's cold up there. Bless you. Rodney, bless you from Missouri. Bless you, Sherry. Tracy, bless you. Good morning. Maria from Pennsylvania, bless you. All right. One minute. Then I got to stop the roll call. Bless you, bless you, Adele. Keisha, Marilyn, bless you. Bless you, bless you. Jacorby, thank you. I'm thankful that you're with me. Praise the Lord. Uh, Janice, oh, first time, Janice. If this is your first time, even if it's after the video is played, let me know that. Thank you. Uh, bless you, Sherry from Chicago. My husband was born and raised in Shy. Uh, bless you, bless you. Thank you for all of the people who just shared this video. I really love that feature. Thank you for doing that. Uh, good morning, Lisa. Is it Nahin or Najin? Okay, from Wisconsin. Bless you. Bless you, Step. Bless you, Sade. Lucy! I got it right, Lucy. I'm not saying loose anymore. It's Lucy. Bless you, Alicia from Texas. Adele from Texas. Favor. Amen. It is a day the Lord has made. Y'all, guess what? 
it's 6 a.m. That's exciting all within itself. Thank you. So, I got to start my roll call for now. But I love you guys, and we're going to get started. Um, Okay, Cynthia. Okay, we, we cover Alex. Okay, Lord, we just pray for Alex's healing, oh God, that you can do what only you can do, Lord. So, Lord, we thank you. I'll go back through that and pray more. Thank you, Adria. Welcome. Everybody that's here for the first time, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. The family welcomes you. We stand shoulder to shoulder here um, on this page. It's a prayer community. And so, thank you for waking up with us this morning. We love you. Family, let our new family members, let them know that you love them this morning. Tell them welcome, welcome, uh, new family. So, Thank you guys for waking up with us this morning. We are excited. I just have something really quick to share. And then we're going to pray. And we have made it through a whole week of doing this. And I feel so blessed. Uh, Brittany, you feel better? Okay. How y'all feel? Tell me how you feel after a week of praying. It's awesome. Bless you from the Caribbean. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so, um, I just want to briefly say this week, you guys, we have gained 3,400 new family members. So, just this week, since we've shifted over to Monday through Friday, we have joined, we have gained 3,400 uh, new family members into this family, into this community of the prayer warriors. So, thank you. We welcome you. We're so excited. We pray. I pray with you every single day. So, you're going to see a difference in your life since you joined the page. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Um, our post reached this week, we reached 2.5 million people with prayer. We reached 2.5 million people with prayer this week. That is amazing. Right here from the prayer closet. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> so praise God for that. So remember, 3,400 new family members this week. And we reached 2.5 million people with our prayers. That is remarkable. Lord, we thank you for that this morning. Remember to hit that bottom. Um, good morning, Thad. Uh, remember to hit that bottom left-hand share button. But here's the kicker, y'all. I got... Um, Somebody contacted me on yesterday from the 700 Club and the Christian Broadcasting Network. And they asked to interview me regarding my prayers. So that's a big deal. That's the 700 Club. They've been around a long time. And um, they contacted me and they told me they were inspired by my prayers. And they want to interview me about my prayer. So look at God. Look at God. And so, um, yeah, y'all just keep praying because I'm going to... Shout to the top of the mountain how important it is to prayer. That's what I've been called to do, and that's what I'm going to do. And so, just keep praying for me, y'all, because as I go up, guess what? The prayer warriors go up, too. We're going up together, and I'm not just saying that. I mean that. So, praise God again. That was um, I was contacted by the 700 Club and the Christian Broadcasting Network on yesterday, and they want to interview me. So, I'm excited about that. Praise the Lord. So, uh, with no more delay, we're going to get into this word. We're going to get into prayer, and then we're going to bounce on out and enjoy a wonderful day in the Lord. How does that sound for everybody? And uh, praise God since she hasn't started reading her Bible since she started. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, listen, I want to briefly share some something with you from the book of Samuel. Uh, Leslie, this is good for you. You said first son's name is Samuel and you have your baby next week. When I was praying with my twins, I read Samuel all the time and I read Hannah's prayer and I prayed over my, my twins and they were born perfect on time, uncomplicated and every, it was just a blessing. So, um, I want to read from first Samuel three and it goes, um, um, uh, and I know y'all should be familiar with it, but just in case you're not, we're going to read it. Uh, 1 Samuel 3, the Lord called Samuel. The boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli. And in those days, the word of the Lord was rare. There were not many visions. And one night, Eli, whose eyes were becoming so weak that he could barely see, was lying down in his usual place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out. And Samuel was lying down in the house of the Lord where the ark of God was. Now remember, Samuel was laying down in the house of the Lord where the ark was. Remember the ark of the covenant is the presence of the Lord, okay, back in those days. So then the Lord called Samuel. The Lord called Samuel. And Samuel answered, here I am. And he ran to Eli and said, here I am. You called me? But Eli said, I did not call. Go back and lie down. So he went back and lay down. Again, the Lord said, Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, here I am. You called me? My son, Eli said, I did not call. Go back and lie down. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. The word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. A third time the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me? Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lie down. And if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord came and stood there. 
calling as at the other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, speak for your servant is listening. That's 1 Samuel uh, 1, 3 through 10. Yes, thank you. So check this. It says that the Lord came and stood there, calling as at the other times. But this time he said, Samuel, Samuel. And then Samuel said, speak for your servant is listening. That gives me chills. I promise you, because I have a question for you this morning. How many times has the Lord called your name? How many times has the Lord called my name, but I didn't recognize it? But notice that because Samuel was resting in the presence of the Lord, even though the Lord called him multiple times, he did not miss the call. And so this morning, before we pray, and we're going to pray about this because this is very important. Every time the Lord used a double, anytime he called the name twice, it was of great significance in the Bible. If he called your name twice, it meant it's because he was elevating you or promoting you or trying to get a point across and that he called you twice. But he didn't just call Samuel twice. Samuel did a great work for the Lord. He didn't just, this is the one that Hannah labored over and prayed over and said, God, you give me this child, I'll give him back. So there was a, a purpose and plan for Samuel's life even from the beginning. And he was birthed through Hannah's pain and her desperation. You know, she was praying for him so much that the people in the temple thought she was crazy and drunk. And it's like, but God didn't give up on Samuel because he had a plan for Samuel. So he kept calling him. He kept calling him. Samuel was resting in the presence of the Lord. He heard it, but he didn't recognize who it was. But God continued to call him. And so this morning, again, is God calling you? And what is he calling you to do? Because the minute Samuel says, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. God gave him some serious instructions concerning Israel. Some serious instructions concerning Israel. And so this morning, our prayer, and what we're going to focus this prayer around this morning, is that we can not, that we can not only just hear, because you can hear me right now. But you can also tune me out and not be able to tell me what I said. Because there's a difference between hearing and listening. When you listen, you're, you're being intentional. And so this morning, we want to be intentional when we come before the Lord. We want to be, we want to know. I can tell my husband something. He'll say, mm-hmm, watching the game. And if I ask him two minutes later, he has no idea what I said. Because he heard me. And a lot of times we say, did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. But did, did, were you listening? Do you know what I said? And somebody can't tell you what you said. It's because we hear you because we have ears to hear so we can hear the noise that's not it doesn't take any effort particularly to hear but it takes effort to listen and this morning we're here as God's servants and we are listening we're not just hearing Lord we want to listen we we don't want you to keep having to call us nor do we want you to raise with somebody else in our place to do what you have called us to do so Lord this morning go ahead and share this in the bottom left hand corner we're gonna get right into prayer this morning the prayer this morning is that we will we won't just hear it. We will listen and we will respond because there are some instructions that God has for you. I'm not just saying this stuff, y'all. This is, y'all already know how much time I spend. Even before I turn this phone on, we're already in prayer. An hour before I even hit the button on this phone. We've already spent an hour, another hour in prayer before we get on here. And as we were praying this morning, I, out of my mouth, I said, speak, Lord. I'm listening. And as I said it, he took me to Samuel. And so this is for you this morning, prayer warriors. This is, look, we're going somewhere and this is serious. And we have to know what God has called us to do. We have to be able to recognize him. So we won't be going running to somebody else thinking they're telling us what to do. So Lord, help us to be intentional. You can go ahead and type that. Intentional listeners, Lord, that when you speak, we not only hear, but we listen. We listen to you, God, and we respond. That is so sweet. I just feel a sweet presence this morning. So, Lord, we just thank you. Y'all ready? Let's go in, prayer warriors. Let's do this. Pray with me. I need you to agree with me, Lord, that the Lord will open our ears and we will be able to hear as he calls our name. Because I, I know he's been calling our names. He called me for a long time and I literally ran like Jonah. You know, I was like, no, I don't want to do that. You know, we want God to give us something to do, but then we tell him what to do. We rationalize and say, no, I don't want to do that. Give me something else to do. But no, there is a great work for every single one of us to do. And we've got to be in his presence 
presence. That's the key. Even though he didn't quite understand his voice, he was in his presence. And that's why we keep coming. Because I'm telling you, as we keep coming and we keep praying and we keep still in the way and just listening to what the Lord is saying, we are going to get our instructions. Those instructions that are divine is going to set our lives in divine order. And everything that's been all out of place will begin to align. So God, align. So Lord, help us this morning to be intentional. Lord, this morning, I thank you for the prayer warriors, oh God. Oh, as we line up this morning before your throne, oh God, shoulder to shoulder. Here we are, Abba, calling you Abba, calling you Papa, calling you Daddy. We are your children. We are your sons and we are your daughters, God. And Lord, if we don't quite understand what you are saying, Lord, please help us to recognize your voice, oh God, and to respond to your instructions. Lord, we don't know how long you've been calling us out by name. Lord, we don't know how many times you've called us. But oh God, on this morning, when you call us this morning, God, let us respond, oh God. Let us respond to what you are telling us to do, Father God. And so this morning, help us to be intentional listeners, God. And let us distract ourselves from the things of this world and tune into what heaven is doing this morning, oh God. That is our prayer, Lord. And just as you called Samuel, Father, and you took the time and patience to come before him and to call him out by name and give him divine instructions, Lord, this morning. Speak, Lord, your servants are listening. Speak, Lord, we are listening this morning. Lord, we are listening this morning to what you would have us to do. Lord, we are listening this morning, God. We are listening, Father. We are listening, Lord. We're desperate this morning. We don't want to keep wandering around and not knowing what we're supposed to do, oh God. Whatever it is, whatever the instructions are, oh God, whatever the plan is, whatever the purpose is for our lives, God, that you had from the very beginning, even before you formed us in our mother's wombs, you already knew us. You'd already set us apart, God, so we don't want to miss it, oh God. We don't want to spend the rest of this year and the rest of our years lost wandering around the wilderness, God, because we didn't listen, because we didn't recognize your voice, because we didn't understand the instructions. No, God, please, Lord, just speak to us this morning. The prayer warriors are listening. Here we are lined up by the thousands, oh God, at your throne early this morning, oh God. Speak to us, oh God. Speak to us, oh God. We are listening this morning. We are listening, Father God, as we get into your presence morning after morning, day after day, night after night, God, as we keep coming before you and come before your throne, oh God. We trust and believe, God, that we will hear you. We will listen to you and we will respond to you, oh God. Lord, we thank you right now, Father, that you are giving us divine instructions, Lord. We thank you right now that what was not aligning is now aligning, God. We thank you right now that nothing's going to keep us or separate us from your love, oh God. We thank you for this morning. No more distractions, no more delays, no more denials, no more offsets, God. This morning, we align. Here we are, shoulder to shoulder, oh God, shoulder to shoulder at the feet of the cross this morning, God. Shoulder to shoulder, God. Here we are, and we're destined for you, God. We're hungry for you. We're thirsty for you, oh God. We can't keep wandering around. We need your direction, oh God. Go before us, Lord. Make every rugged path smooth, every crooked place straight. Bring every high place low, God. Show us the way. Show us the way to life, oh God. Light up our path. Direct us. Order our steps in your word, oh God. Give us ear gates that will respond to what you are telling us to do, God. Give us eyes to see what you are showing us, oh God. Give us a heart to follow you and serve you, oh God. To be tenderhearted and compassionate towards your people, oh God. Give us a thirst and desire to get into your word, oh God. And to study you, Father God. To study what you are saying to your people. The message that you left in the Bible for your people, God. Give us a hunger and thirst. Stir us up this morning, God, to explore you, to know more about you, to get before you, God, and to not let go. Be like Jacob. That we will wrestle with you. We will wrestle. We will wrestle. We will wrestle until you release what you have for us, oh God. We're not going to take it lying down, God. No, we know there's a higher calling, a higher purpose, oh God, beyond what we can see right now. So, God, this morning, we thank you, oh God. Lord, we exalt you. Oh God, we proclaim that you are good. You are worthy. You are faithful, oh God. You are our Abba Father. You are our Daddy, and you have promised to only give good and perfect gifts to us, oh God. So this morning, we rejoice in your goodness, oh God. We celebrate the victory that we have in you, Father God. We thank you for the strength, the grace, the resilience, the tenacity, God, to keep coming before you, not just because we're doing something, oh God, not to socialize or chat with one another, but no, God, we're coming before you with intentionality, oh God. We're coming before you because we know that there's a message for us, oh God, from the throne each morning, God. We know this, so we keep coming, we keep coming, we keep coming, because we know, God, as we keep coming, you will not disappoint. You are a God who never disappoints oh God, as we keep coming, you said we hunger and thirst after righteousness, oh God we hunger and thirst after what is right we shall be filled, oh God, so on this morning Lord, we thank you that you're filling our lives with every good thing, oh God, you're filling our lips with praise, you're filling our hearts with joy, oh God with laughter, with peace, oh God silence of mind, God, we thank you this morning as we keep coming to you, God, 
You fill us up, oh God. As you fill us up, oh God, I ask you this morning to pour us out as a drink offering among your people, oh God, because there's a lost and fallen world out there, Lord, and they need to see a light and let us be those lights this morning, oh God. As we go out among our days today, God, let our light so shine before others, God, that they see the work within us, oh God, and they want to serve this God that we serve, God. We honor you this morning, God, as seated, God, on a hill. We can no longer be hidden, oh God, nor can a light be put under our feet. Father, we thank you, oh God, that your light is illuminating through us, oh God. Oh God, it's penetrating the hearts of men, and men, even as we are praying right now, God, these people are scrolling, they are stopping, oh God, and they are listening, oh God. Lord, we thank you this morning, God, that you're calling the people onto the page, oh God, to join us in this movement of prayer. We thank you for this morning. This is divine, and we honor you for this morning, God. You are a good and faithful Father, God. We thank you that all of our needs are met on this day, God. You have promised to give us our daily bread, God. You are Jehovah Jireh. You provide, so God, whatever the need is, you can type your needs in. God, we know that they're typing their needs in. As we're typing our needs in this morning, oh God, you are meeting those needs, God. As we're typing in our praises this morning, as we're typing in our hallelujahs and our amens, as we're typing in our you're worthy, God, we bless you, oh God. You're answering, you're responding, you are well pleased, oh God. It's because you are well pleased, oh God. You allowing our thoughts to become agreeable to your will, oh God. You allowing our plans, God, to be established, oh God. Lord, he who has begun a good work, you've already said that you will complete it until the time that Jesus Christ returns, God. So we don't have to worry, we don't have to fret, we don't have to ponder, we don't have to be upset in turmoil this morning, God, because we have a peace, the peace that you give that surpasses all understanding, God. We thank you that you're on our time of prayer, God. We thank you that you're on our time of fellowship, oh God, for the love that exudes from this page, the love of God that exudes from this page, God. We thank you, oh God. We honor you, Father, God, that the downtrodden will find the page, God. The brokenhearted will find the page, God. The wounded, weary, and broken will find the page, God, as they find it, and as they pray these prayers back, oh God, they will feel you. It's not me. They will feel you, oh God. They will feel the love coming from the prayer warriors, God. They will feel our tenderheartedness and our compassion towards one another, God. So we thank you this morning for the marvelous work that you are doing, God. We thank you for this morning, God. The eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what you have in store for us because we love you, God. Because we love you this morning. We'll make an open confession that we love you, oh God. We love you, God. We honor you. We bless you, God. And we thank you, God, that this day we can go forth, God, and be excited about what you have in store for us, God. Even before this year is out, God, we're excited. We're trading our worry and our sorrows for joy, God, this morning. And we thank you for it, oh God. Lord, we honor you, oh God. God, we honor you this morning, oh God. We thank you this day is blessed. We thank you for the victory that we have in you, oh God. We thank you, dear God. We thank God you're setting us up, God, to where the enemy is out of our reach, God. We thank you that we are out of his reach this morning, God. We thank you for it, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, God. You get us the ability to run through truth and leap over walls, God, as we stand shoulder to shoulder. Nothing is going to penetrate this army of the living God. We thank you for it this morning, God. We thank you. We are the army of the living God, a vast army, a multitude of people, a multitude of believers who are standing together shoulder to shoulder, God, proclaiming the good news. Oh, God, I thank you for this morning, Lord. I thank you for this morning, God. I thank you for the prayer warriors, my family. I thank you for this morning, God, for the increase. I thank you for this morning, God. Now I ask you to enlarge their territories, oh, God. I ask you to honor these prayers. You honor your bears, oh, God. I ask you to bless them. I ask you to keep them in your perfect will, God. I ask you to smile upon them, God. I ask you to be gracious towards them and loving towards them and compassion towards them. I ask you to favor them and they're coming in and they're going, God. I ask you to give them wisdom and a wise and discerning heart, oh God. Let them know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it, and where to do it, oh God. They will always be in the right place at the right time and never in the wrong place at the wrong time. God, I thank you for that. Our lives will not be cut short, God. But we will do what you have called us to do. God, we thank you both individually and collectively, God. Your will may be done in our lives, God. Let your kingdom come and your will be done in the earth. So God, please bless them. Please increase them, oh God. Please enlarge their territories, oh God. Please broaden their horizons, Father. There is our prayer this morning that you will broaden their horizons, oh God, Lord, that they can be effective. Men and women of influence for the kingdom of God, we thank you for this morning, oh God, that you will place your righteous, your strong, your mighty right hand upon your sons and your daughters this morning, God, that you will place your hand upon them, oh God, and be with them everywhere they go, Father. That is my prayer this morning, God, and I know that when the righteous cry out, you've already promised to answer our prayers, oh God, we thank you this morning for your goodness. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness, oh God. We thank you for the assurance that we have in you as we keep coming to you and coming to you and coming to you, God. You said, but he let cry out to you day and night, God. You
you will answer. You will answer. That is your prayer to us, oh God. We thank you, Father. That is your promise to us, God. And we thank you for this morning, God. As we keep crying out to you, Lord. You will answer our prayers, God. You're not just hearing, but you're listening and you're responding, oh God. I thank you that even now, God, you open the floodgates of heaven and you allow a torrential downpour of blessings to fall upon your sons and your daughters, God. I just feel like a ladder of rain is coming, God. A torrential downpour, oh God. Before this year is out, God, I believe it that my eyes will see many, many testimonies, oh God. Many, many testimonies, God, of how you're turning things around in the lives of the prayer warriors, God. I've already begun to receive them, oh God. Healing that is taking place, oh God. Financial breakthroughs that have taken place, oh God. Open doors, God, that you've opened in, in moments, oh God. We've been praying about for years. You're turning now, God. So we thank you, oh God, for this time of prayer. Oh God, our day is blessed, God. We cover our families in the blood of Jesus. We cover our children in the blood of Jesus. We cover our countries, the nations that are represented in the blood of Jesus. And God, you rule and reign supreme over everything, God, you're creator of heaven and earth and everything in between. So God, we thank you this morning, God, that we don't rely on man. We rely on you. You have ultimate authority, dominion, power, and control. You are sovereign, oh God. You can do anything but fail. Your track record is proven true, God. And we thank you, oh God, that you are the king of kings and the Lord of lords, God. We thank you for this morning, oh God. So we go out into this day knowing that you are with us, God. Knowing that you will never leave or forsake us, God. We thank you for this morning. We should not be put to shame. Father, we thank you for this morning, oh God. Anoint our hands with fresh oil, Father, please. Oh God, anoint our hands with fresh oil. Give us a fresh dose, oh God, of your anointing, of your power, of your spirit, oh God. We need it to go out into this day and to be lights for you, to be witnesses for you, God. Give us a boldness and a confidence as we go out into this world today, Lord. Oh God, send your angels out before us by the leaders to encamp around our families, to encamp around our communities, oh God. Just send your angels out now while we're still praying. Send them out by the leaders, oh God. Oh God, we just thank you, oh God. We thank you for this time of prayer, oh God. We honor you, oh God. We say you are worthy, oh God. Lord God, speak to us, Father. Speak to us. We are listening, oh God. We are listening, Lord. We are listening, God, and we will receive, oh God, and we will obey your instructions. Oh God, we honor you for this time of prayer, God. Thank you that you will speak to us, God, that you will make it clear to us what you are telling us to do, God, and that we will respond. Oh God, we honor you that a devil in hell can stop it. Not a devil in hell can stop the plan that you have for us, God. So we thank you for this time of prayer, oh God, and we just seal this petition in the blood of Jesus Christ. We honor you, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Just share the video. Hallelujah, oh God. Bottom left-hand corner. Thank you. The numbers are going up every single day. Thank you, thank you. I love you guys. Share the video. We're listening to what God will have us to do. I love you guys so much. Okay, we're off for the weekend, but you will be on my mind and in my heart. Join me 6 a.m. Monday morning. We're going to do Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. sharp. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Lord God.